नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इज सेवेंथ अगस्त इज डिक्लेयर एज अ नेशनल हैंडलूम डे एंड द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज दैट इट वॉज इन नाइन दैट द स्वदेशी मूवमेंट वॉज लॉन्च ऑन द सेम डे एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट बोथ ए स्टेटमेंट वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट वन नाउ सी दिस इज आवर करंट अफेयर्स बुक अगस्त 2022 ट्वेंटी टू करंट अफेयर्स बुक पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड सेवनटीन हेयर इट इज मैंशन एट्थ नेशनल हैंडलूम डे अगस्त सेवन वॉज चूजन एज द नेशनल हैंडलूम डे टू कमेमोरेट स्वदेशी मूवमेंट विच वॉज लॉन्च ऑन दिस डे नाइन हंड्रेड फाइव इन कलकटा टाउन हॉल टू प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट द पार्टीशन ऑफ बंगाल देर फॉर बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर मैंशन हेयर देर फॉर इज द आंसर एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विद रिगार्ड टू स्पोर्ट्स अवार्ड्स मेजर ध्यान चंद्र खेल रत्न अवार्ड अर्जुन अवार्ड द्रोणाचार्य अवार्ड एंड राष्ट्रीय खेल प्रोत्साहन पुरस्कार ऑल दीज आर मैंशन इन अवर बुकलेट करंट अफेयर्स बुकलेट नवंबर 2022 ट्वेंटी टू करंट अफेयर्स बुक फॉर आई फिल्म ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड सेवन हेयर इट इज मैंशन मेजर ध्यान चंद खेल रत्न अवार्ड इज गिवन फॉर ए स्पेक्टेकुलर एंड मोस्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स बाय अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फोर ईयर्स नाउ सी दिस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन मेजर ध्यान चंद खेल रत्न अवार्ड फॉर मोस्ट स्पेक्टेकुलर एंड आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस इन द लास्ट फोर ईयर्स देयर फॉर फर्स्ट वन इज करेक्ट नाउ सी द अर्जुन अवार्ड अर्जुन अवार्ड इज गिवन फॉर गुड परफॉर्मेंस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ प्रीवियस फोर ईयर्स here arjun award for the lifetime achievement by sports person therefore this is wrong now check this third one dronacharya award for outstanding coaches in sports and games is given to the coaches for doing outstanding and meritorious work on a consistent basis for re for enabling sports person to excel in international events dronacharya award to honor eminent coaches who have successfully trained sports persons or teams therefore third is correct Now check the last one. That is, Rashtriya Khel Prasthan Puraskar is given to the corporate entities, both in private and public sector. Sports control boards, NGOs, sports bodies, who have played a visible role in the area of sports. Rashtriya Khel Prasthan Puraskar to recognize the contribution made by the sports person even after their retirement. Therefore, this is wrong. Only one and three is correct. therefore only to b is the answer this is question is solved next question in a sense what does due process of law mean four options are given and the correct answer is fair application of law that is c now see this is our indian polity booklet for rice plans 2023 page number 38 here it is mentioned that right to fair trial emanates from the concept of rule of law and the right to fair trial is also part of due process of law so right of fair trial fair application of law therefore c is the answer and this question is solved from our indian polity booklet next question which one of the following statements best reflect the chief purpose of the constitution of a country four statements are given first that it determines the objective for making necessary laws this is wrong it enables creation of political offices and government it is wrong it secures social justice social equality and social security it is wrong chief purpose is that it defines and limits the power of the government now see this is our indian polity booklet for as per lens 2023 page number 25 Now this chapter features of Indian Constitution. Here it is clearly mentioned. Constitution establishes parliamentary system, presence of nominal and real executive, majority party rule, collective responsibility of the executive to the legislature, leadership of the prime minister, independent judiciary, division of powers, three legislative lists, secular state, single citizenship, emergency provisions, three-tier government. so therefore the chief purpose of the constitution is that it defines and limits the power of the government therefore c is the answer and this question is solved next question in india 
which one of the following constitutional amendments was widely believed to be enacted to overcome the judicial interpretations of the fundamental rights and the correct answer is one first amendment now see this is our indian polity booklet for rice prelims 2023 page number 221 here on this page all the constitutional amendments are mentioned the first amendment a new constitutional device called schedule 9 introduced to protect laws that are contrary to the constitutionally guaranteed fundamental rights these laws encroach upon the property rights freedom of speech and equality before the law therefore it was the first amendment a is the answer and this question is solved next question by which one of the following acts was the governor general of bengal designated as the governor general of india and the correct answer is d charter act of 1833 now see this is our indian polity booklet for rice plan 2023 page number 3 here it is mentioned the charter act of 1833 it redesignated the governor general of bengal as the governor general of india here it is clearly mentioned therefore d is the answer and this question is solved from our indian polity booklet next question consider the following trees jackfruit mahua teak how many of the above are deciduous trees mahua is there teak is there jackfruit is not there now see this is our geography book geography part 1 book for rice prelims 2023 page number 51 it is mentioned deciduous forests and these forests are sal teak arjun jalur etc and mahua is mentioned here and teak is mentioned therefore mahua and teak is there jackfruit is not there only two b is the answer and this question is solved next question which one of the following is the best example of repeated falls in sea level giving rise to present day extensive marshland and the correct answer is ran of kutch now see this is our geography booklet part 1 for rice plains 2023 page number 7 here it is clearly mentioned ran of kutch is a marshy region located in the northwest gujarat this region was originally a part of arabian sea geologic forces such as earthquakes resulted in resulted in damming up the region turning into a large salt water lagoon this area is gradually filled with silt thus turning it into a seasonal salt marsh during the monsoons the area turned into a shallow marsh often flooding to knee depth at monsoons the region turns dry and becomes parched so here it is clearly mentioned ran of kutch d is the answer and this question is solved next question consider the following aerosols foam agents fire retardants lubricants in the making of how many of above are hydrofluorocarbons are used and the correct answer is all four now see this is our environment book for is prelims 2023 page number 98 substitutes are available for ods here it is mentioned that chlorofluorocarbons they are used in refrigerator coolants that is lubricants foam insulation fire extinguisher aerosol cans so therefore aerosols foams fire fire lubricants therefore d is the answer all four and question is solved question consider the following markets four terms are given how many of the above are included in the capital market now see this is our indian economy booklet for rice plants 2023 on page number 123 capital market term is explained what is capital market capital market is a market that actually deals with the intermediate term funds and the long term funds so it basically deals with the long term funds now see the government bond market call money market treasury bill stock market now government bond market it is a long term market stock market is also is a long term call money market is a short term and treasury bill market is also the short term therefore 1 and 4 is correct 
Now, thus see the explanation of all these four terms in our Indian economy book. Now, first see the government bond market. Page number 141 of our Indian economy booklet. Indian economy booklet, page number 141. Here we have mentioned. Long term, usually called the government bonds. So, government bonds, they are the long term funds. Now see the call money market and the treasury bill market. On the page 141, Indian economy booklet, PE bills or treasury bills, it is mentioned that these are the short term debt instruments, 91 day, 182 day, 364 day. So therefore TE bills, they are also a short term one. Now see the call money market, page number 144. Call money market, it is this market is predominantly a overnight market, short term one. Now see the stock market, page number 133. Here it is mentioned long-term securities market which deals with the long-term securities that is the stock market it is also known as stock market so the stock market is also with the long it deals with the long-term securities government bond also deals with the long-term funds these two are wrong one and four is the answer therefore B is the option B is the correct answer and question number 25 is solved